What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Out here, Orange Beach, Alabama today. It has been raining wind for the past eight days, guys. I was able to fit in a quick kayak trip uh, about four days ago and I got caught in the storm. That, that video should be up. You guys go back and check that out. But the beaches are packed with seaweed, guys. Sargasm, I mean, it's running for about 100 miles. You can see all this stuff. And this looks a lot better. The cleanup crews have been around here in Arm Beach, um, bulldozers basically, getting all this sargasm up and off the beach. And I can just show you the piles of it here. Here, I mean, they have piles all the way down the beach, all the way into Perdido. Check with some guys in the Pensacola Destin area, same thing. It is just washed up. Eight days of south wind and rain has done it. Water is super dirty. Seaweed's still out there, but manageable. And we're gonna try to get on some pops. <laughs> I think we could do it. Let's get it out there. So how I'm navigating this, guys, I'm definitely not running four lines. I am just gonna run three lines, figure out where the bulk of the seaweed is. So I got a short line out, a mid-range, and a long cast. I'm kind of telling off the bat that um, my short rod is getting caked pretty, pretty quickly with the seaweed. So I pulled the seaweed off of it twice. If it happens again like that fast, then I'm just gonna eliminate my short rod. I'm gonna put it at about a mid-range. So I'll have two mid-range, one long. Basically, I'm trying to find pockets where the seaweed's not. Because of the water clarity, there is gonna be catfish. I mean, we just can't avoid it. It is like poo brown out there. The trick is, is to figure out what the catfish are hitting and then eliminate that bait. So right now I have three different flavors of fish bites on, sand flea, crab, and shrimp. I'm starting with that. I'm gonna rake some fleas and I have some fresh dead shrimp also. So if I'm getting a pattern, let's say on the crab flavor fish bite of catfish, that I'm eliminating that bait altogether. I do have my new G2 Coastals on today. These are Seekway brand. Uh, picked these up on Amazon. They were like 30 bucks. They got a nice hard sole on them. Sand is staying out of them. I've been um, like fully submerged in the sand. The sand's really soft up front. And, and that is my that was my big concern is sand getting in them. But they're holding true. Nice, they're protecting my feet from those catfish barbs. All right. Playing with fire now. Got some delicious sand fleas here. Really like a mid-size and a big one. I've learned that to not be prejudiced with the size of these guys. So whatever I'm raking up is what's closest to the surface and it's what the fish are probably eating on too. I mean, that just makes sense to me. So I'm raking up really big sand fleas. I used to cut them in half and stuff like that because I figure if that's what I'm getting, that's what the fish are getting too. Goes the same way with the little small ones. If I'm raking up little small ones, I used to just throw them back, but they will work because they are closest to the surface. That's why you're able to rake them up so they're easier for the fish to get. Right. Papano Andy, that's your first one? Oh, sweet Jesus. Could be another pop. No, cat. Cat daddy. Oh, come here. Is this guy gonna make it? He's gonna make it, Andy. Right on, right on. <laughs> first, first Alabama Papano. All right. Andy's on again. Oh, it's a little cat. All right, watch out. Does he feel like anything? Uh, yeah, something on there. Okay. Bring him up. Oh, watch out. All right. Whoa. On again. 
What'd you get? Pop no. No. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a big one too, bro. No. <laughs> All right, that second pompano did hit fresh dead shrimp. I've been very cautious to put these on because of all the catfish, but I put some fresh dead on. I went deep with the cast, and that's where we picked up that second pompano. Cat, seaweed, the seaweed is everywhere. It's getting on the lines, but it's definitely manageable. It's not too bad. Clearing the lines probably about every five minutes, but we're able to keep baits out there right now. And that's the important thing. We've reeled in about 25 cats. No whiting, where are the whiting guys? I've seen a lot of posts about where's the whiting and I haven't paid too much attention to it, but they are non-existent. Not a small whiting, not a combat whiting, nothing little concerning and then the tractors are back to finish cleaning up this mess which is awesome orange beach definitely takes care of their beaches <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> another one down here this will be my third trip with the true braid holding up i got 20 pound and 30 pound i'm i'm using out here no complaints yet i'm digging it price points great a lot cheaper than what I was using. I hate buying braid, <laughs> but this makes it a little less painful. All right, so we have definitely picked up a pattern on the seaweed. The seaweed is up close, so we're getting our rods out deeper to avoid it, but that's where the catfish are too. So you still have issues like this. You just gotta fight through it. We need one more pompano to get the one man Alabama limit. That was a pompano hit right there, guys. I don't think I got the camera on quick enough. Ha ha! <laughs> That's the limit, baby. I know that rod bend. <laughs> absolute stud guys on the big sand flea perdido blaine green rig that one's been hot for me lately i uh, got a two-man limit on that rig about two weeks ago that and the yellow frisky fins rattle and we do have a little hitchhiker on there mr cat daddy that's a tank daddy guys he's coming in probably about i'd say 15 15 and a half Total length, Alabama. First Florida Pompano today. Wait a minute. Is it a Florida Pompano for an Alabama and Alabama limit? First day out surf fishing. Andy has relocated to the area, wanted to get into surf fishing, called me up. I thought the conditions were gonna be rough and it is with the catfish and the seaweed. We're navigating through it, we're fighting through it, we're figuring it out and we're able to get on the limit. All right, fishing buddies, getting out of here. Not a bad day considering. A lot of grass, a lot of catfish. We didn't hook up on one blue runner, one ladyfish, no whiting. The three pops, Bama Limit, and about 86 catfish. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit me a like, hit me a subscribe. Really helps out the rhythm of the channel. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If you would like to do a guided surf fishing charter in the Perdido Key, Orange Beach, Pensacola area, you can find all my rates at perditoblade.com. Till next time, fishing buddies.